a lot of us don't really think a lot about our garage door. We press the button and it goes up. We press the button, it goes down, hopefully. There's a lot of parts. It's a system. One of the things that's on your garage door, which you may overlook, is this rubber seal at the bottom of the garage door. And a question has come in from a listener of the show. Because I think maybe theirs came off or broke. And the question is, is, is that rubber seal at the bottom of the garage door necessary? Is it important? So I've asked Cody Johnson, a garage door expert from Garage Door Doctor, to join me here on the program to answer that very question. Hey, Cody. Hey, Joe. Great to have you here. So that rubber piece, which is kind of pliable, right? It it it, it it's kind of squishy a bit. Um, doesn't that keep the elements out? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so what I call the bottom rubber, I almost think of it as almost like the door sitting on a pillow for lack of better words. Okay. So, um, but basically it's just going to seal out the elements. It's going to help reduce the amount of water coming in. It's not a hundred percent water type, but it helps reduce the amount of water coming in, but mainly it's going to keep the critters out, the rodents out, the snakes out. Mm -hmm. um, the dust and debris when the landscapers are blowing the, you know, after they mow the yard, they blow all the debris and stuff. It'll, it should reduce that, that amount of stuff coming in. And if you combine that here with the vinyl trim that goes on the outside edge of the, of the wood frame or, or of the garage door, if you combine a new bottom rubber with the vinyl trim, that'll get you like 99% airtight there. And, and then at least in Houston, a lot of times the builders, the wood frame on the outside garage door, they'll cut three to six inches short uh, of the ground because I guess they're worried about the wood rotting or whatever. I'm not, that's not my my deal. So what we can do is we can put flashing on and that'll help seal up as best as you can. So it's kind of, you know, going back to the whole garage door as a system, the bottom rubber, we can fix that issue, no problems. But if it's getting rock hard, um, it's, not, it's not a cushion anymore. It's not sealing right because it's rock hard or it's shrunk. We can change just that or combine it with vinyl trim and and uh, and flashing at the bottom. We can get your garage sealed up real well. And it looks a lot better, too. Um, the garage door might be functioning well. The garage door may look good. But I'm telling you, what really takes away from the look is a ripped and torn, tattered seal at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Well, and... You know, a lot of times we get the pest control guys come out and, and the customers wondering why the mice and the rats are in the garage. Well, it's because you have giant holes underneath your door, okay? Because the weather strip is rock hard and it's chipped away and, and then you got the gapping on the sides. So um, it's something that we can help you with. Um, and they either, they also have a little bit fatter um, bottom rubbers. Mm -hmm. So if your concrete's not perfectly level in Houston, they're, ne they're never level. They got fatter bottom rubbers that can help seal as best as possible. There are the few occasions that it is what it is, but there's a lot of stuff we can do to fine tune it. It's truly weather stripping for your garage door at the bottom. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. And, yeah. And um, it's necessary. It's not that expensive to have one replaced. You can call Cody and his team to come out from Garage Door Doctor anywhere in the greater Houston area to help you out with all of your garage door needs. All of Cody's information is located in the description of this podcast, including his phone number and his website. Cody, thanks as always. Thank you.